All right, so here I have a Word document. I'm in Microsoft Word. This is just a, a plain document. I put in a couple of photos that I took of the women's rugby team. And so then I'll come over to File, click on the File menu, and come down to Save As. So we're doing File, Save As. Click on that. And then I come down to Format. And under Format, I'll click on this menu, and I want to uh, save it as a PDF. And I'm going to save it to this folder called Wor Word Export, just so I can keep track of where I'm saving this, this file to. So I save it as a PDF. I'm just going to search on my computer for that folder. I know you can find your file wherever you put it. Open that up. So now I'll click here to open up my PDF, which looks like this. And then the next step is in uh, with a Macintosh, it opens in preview. I suspect it's the same thing with a PC. I hope so, so I'm not sure what to do otherwise. Um, so click on File once again. And now under Preview, we're going to click on Export. So I'm going to export this PDF. And now I have the choice, uh, once again under Format, to choose JPEG. All right. So it's Format. I choose JPEG. So I'm saving it as a JPEG. These basic settings here should be fine. And then I'll click on Save. OK, so I go back to my folder. I can see there's a JPEG. So right now, that image, it's ready to, up, to, ready to embed in your blog. It's just like any other image. You could just you know, do browse and select this photo. Now, one thing about my Word document, I just I opened up, wait, let me backtrack a little. I just double clicked on the JPEG, and it opened up here in preview. And with my Word document, I have all this extra white space. Now, this is all one file because it's a JPEG. So what you can do if you have some white space is I just have, I'm going to take my cursor. I've got that little uh, arrow right there, or that grid. And I'll click and drag it out. And I'm just going to select just where the collage is, where the photos are, and then go up to Tools and come down to Crop. OK, so it cropped off that white space. And then now I want to go to File and just do Save. So I saved how I cropped it. So if I close all these windows, and I come back here to my file, my JPEG, and I double click. Voila, there's the cropped image. So that's how you can get uh, something you created on Word and embed it in your blog.